Hi, this is Brian with CAD1, and in this video I'm going to show you how to adjust the elevations of your points as you import them into your drawing. Here I have a point file. Now this is a very simple example. It could extend out to several thousand points, but I'm just going to do it with these two points. And we have the typical point number northing easting elevation description point file format. It's comma delimited. But then I also have a final column over there on the right hand side, which is an elevation adjustment. So for example, I want point number one to adjust 0.55 feet down. So instead of coming in at elevation 100, I want it to come in at elevation 99.45. Likewise with point 2, I want it to come in at elevation 100.52 rather than 101. So let's see how we go about doing this. So here I am in Civil 3D. The first thing I'm going to need to do is create a new point file format. So on the settings tab of your tool space, expand out point, point file formats. Civil 3D comes with several point file formats, but none of them are set up to do what it is that we want to do. So right click on point file formats and create a new point file format. We're going to use a user point file for the format type. I'll go ahead and give this a name. I'll call it elevation adjustment. I need to tell the point file format how it is delimited. So this will be delimited by a comma. So I'll type a comma in here. And then I need to tell it what each column represents. So in this case, the first column represents the point number. Oops, the point number. The second column represents the northing. The third column represents the easting. The fourth column represents the elevation of the point. The fifth column represents the raw description. Now here's your typical point number northing easting elevation description point file format. But I've got that last piece of data that I want to bring in as well. So on this last column, I'm going to choose either Z plus or Z minus. So Z plus will add this value to the elevation. Z minus will subtract the this value from the elevation. Now in this example, since I have a negative value typed into my point file, I'm going to use the Z plus. I want to add in a negative value. And that's all I have to do with the point file format. Now, when I go to import the points, I'll choose points from file. I'll browse to my point file. I will then choose the appropriate point file format. This is the one we just created, elevation adjustment. And as you can see down here, it gives a nice preview of what those point values are. I'm going to add these to a point group, so I'll use this imported points point group. And then I am going to do the elevation adjustment if possible. In this case, it is possible because I have this Z plus column here. I'll select OK. And as you can see, the points have come in. Point number one came in 0.55 feet below 100. And point number two came in 0.48 feet below 101. Now, if I were to do this again, so I'll simply import the points from the file again. I'll add in that point file again. I'll choose the appropriate point file format. I'll add the points to a point group, but this time I'm going to uncheck do elevation adjustment if possible. I'll go ahead and have it overwrite those point numbers. And you can see they came in with the original elevation because I did not have it do the elevation adjustment. So this is how to go about doing elevation adjustments on your points. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out and contact us. Thank you for watching.